Hi, welcome to Establish a Home with Shannon Hossfield. Our actions speak louder than words, don't they? And our kids hear those actions really loud, especially and unfortunately when it's a negative thing. Those times when we send the message of, I'm too busy, I don't really care, please don't bother me with that right now. Um, we accidentally send those messages all the time, unfortunately. But it is so crucial that we send messages to our children that I love you, I'm here. If you ever have a problem, please come talk to me about it. I have the time. Um, we, it's so important to do that. And I have found that there's something that a lot of families do that's really helpful in establishing that trust relationship with your children. And it's actually scheduling in time to have one-on-one -on -one time with your children, like completely undivided attention um, and just scheduling in a regular appointment. And to make it fun, you can call it something fun. Um, some families call them mentor meetings. I've heard some families just call them parent-child interviews. And I talked to one mom that does these and they're actually specifically daddy time. And so they have daddy-daughter discussions and um, father-son powwows. And so, and they have these regularly. Some families have them weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, depending on how big your family is and um, what your family's needs are. But in this meeting with your children, um, it's just completely undivided attention. It's a special time um, with mom and dad. And you sit down with them and discuss all the good things going on in their life, all the things they're grateful for. And you can also go over their um, educational goals and set goals with them and teach them how to achieve them. Celebrate progress with them. Um, so go over their academics, what's going well, what are they struggling with, what could they work on, how can you help as a parent, go over their relationships with their siblings and their friends, are they getting along with everybody, are there any issues you need to discuss there. Um, you can also go over their faith or spirituality, are there any goals there that you could work on. Um, in my faith there's some, um, there's like a youth program and so I can sit down with my kids and find out um, where they're at in the program and setting goals and um, there's lots of great ideas to help your kids grow in their spirituality and their faith, whatever that may be for your family. So this is a great time to get personal with these discussions and setting goals with your kids, achieving the, um, seeing how they're achieving them, um, discussing the issues that they're having. So this gives you that private time with your children and also to let them know what you're noticing. Hey, I noticed that you've been working extra hard on taking care of your younger siblings or hey I noticed that you've been working extra hard at school or hey I've noticed that you're having a hard time getting along with so and so is everything going okay there um, so and I think kids appreciate that you're noticing that you're taking time to notice and let them know um, for my kids this is actually a pretty special time and they are protective of this time so when they get to have time to come in and sit with mom and dad no one else is allowed in the room Everybody knows to stay out because this is a special time. So um, for some of you, this probably this might sound a little strange to schedule time to be alone with your children, but um, I've just talked to so many families that have been blessed by doing this practice and building that relationship of trust. And it just is that constant reminder to your children. It's just another way to send that intentional message to your children. I am here. I love you. I will cancel everything to talk to you for a minute and um, and building that relationship of trust so that your children come to you and know that you will help them when they need you when they need you. Um, so I hope this helps and um, and let me know how this helps you and if you do this in your home, what it looks like and hope this helps you as you establish your home. See you later.